Good day and welcome to video number four. This is the Math and Stats RAS 2023 paper called Demonstrating Mathematical Reasoning and the paper number is 91947. This is a five credit external and this is the first time this standard will be introduced in the NCA program level one. So this is a pilot assessment and if you can practice them all, you should be all good for the external at the end of the year. So without further ado, let's do question 1C part 1 of this paper and 1 and part 2. Okay, this is the question and we shall read them together. Okay, so two ships leave port P, port P is here at the same time. Ship W, which is here, sails 70 kilometers on a bearing of 030. So the bearing here is 030 to reach alpha. Ship V, on the other hand, travels 140 km on a bearing of 120. From here to the north to the spot here is 120 to the point B. Okay, so the first question is find the direct distance between the point alpha and beta. So if you look properly, this is actually a right angle triangle because the angle, the angle from here to here is 120 and that is 30 degrees so you need to know that that is a right angle so once you have a right angle you know the distance 70 and the distance 140 you can use your Pythagoras theorem to solve this so Pythagoras theorem has this formula Pythagoras theorem okay the formula is a squared plus b squared equals to h squared where h is the hypotenuse in our case we're going to put the h here because it's the longer side because it's opposite the 90 degrees okay so a squared we're going to label them so we label them as a this is b and then we're going to put a squared is going to be 70 squared plus b squared is 140 squared and that will be give to the h squared or also called the length a b squared okay so now we're going to do is that we are going to use the calculator 70 squared plus 140 squared. The answer is going to be H squared or hypotenuse is going to be 224,500. Okay, so we need to add, use the calculator and key in 70 squared plus 140 squared. It should give us 24,500. And then to get your H, you just need to square root the answer 24,500. And the answer is going to be 156.52 kilometers. So the length AB or H is going to be 156.52. And that is an achieved skill. Okay, so we shall do the second part of question 1C. And this time is a married question. Same question. Find the bearing of alpha from beta. So from beta, you get the blue line, we're going to find the bearing as shown as angle x okay this angle x in the diagram opposite so we're going to put you need first to need to find this angle we label it as angle y okay so because we need that angle to calculate the bearing so from here to all the way here okay so the angle x is all the way here so we need to find angle y first before we can calculate angle x so to find angle y we found it before there's 90 degrees here so we can use your trick ratio using trick ratio so what happened now using trick ratio, you, you, this is your opposite, you calculate y, so this is your adjacent. So we use tangent theta or tangent y is equal to opposite over adjacent. The opposite is going to be 70 and the adjacent, is, excuse me, is 140. You put in the calculator, it's going to be half or 0 0.5. So to get your y or the angle y here, you take tangent inverse of 0 0.5 put in your calculator and the answer should give you 26.57 degrees okay 26.57 degrees and but the question did not ask for angle y they asked for this angle here from here from the north here and all the way to so angle x is going to be this part here is going to be 180 this part here is going to be 120 because you use an alternate angle, this alternate angle, okay, this angle, 120, is going to be, sorry, this angle here, from here, 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 so that angle here is going to be 120, so x is 
going to be at 120. So 180 plus 120 plus the Y we found to be 26.57 degrees. If you add them all up, the answer is going to be 326.57 degrees. That is the answer for question 1C part 2 and that is the merit in this paper. So hopefully you understand what bearing. Bearing is the measurement from the north and to ever where it stopped. This is called the bearings. Okay? You're not sure? Watch my video. Google Mr. Ong Math Lesson Bearings and you should be able to understand that. Cheers everyone and have a great day.